Hello, everybody. It's your favorite person in the world again. Just kidding. It's Jeff. Hope you guys are all doing well. Um, doing another acoustic one just because I'm digging them lately. And so this one's going to be blaming on the Tetons. If my phone will focus... I really need to get a real camera. Um, so anyway, the way it starts out is I use my middle finger on the 5th fret of the D string, my 1st finger on the 4th fret of the G, and then you're muting the E and the A strings with your thumb and the tip of your middle finger. So, so you just have this. And you don't want to play the high E either, just these 3 strings. So. So, yeah. God, phone. Come on. Okay. So, 5th fret on your um, D, 4th fret on your G, and then it's 1, 2, 3, 4, and then um, ring finger down on the 5th fret of the G for one strum, and then pinky down on the 7th fret of the G for one strum. So... And then um, move those two fingers over again the old Moss Mouse classic to your um, A and D strings fifth and fourth fret and then same exact thing two three four um, same exact thing one strum with your ring finger down on the fifth fret of the D and then with your pinky on the seventh fret of the D. So all together you have this. And then you slide from the fifth and four down to the three and two. Slide down to three and two. Lift up your first finger, put it back down. So it's. Pinky on the fifth fret for two strums. Sorry, I'm trying to mute the E. So it's, yeah. Two strums with your pinky on the fifth fret of the E. And then lift it up, and you have your first finger on the uh, second fret still. So. just that riff over and over again for the entire song and then it's the same exact fingerings and chords and everything but you just play the rhythm a little bit differently when it goes into like the kind of interlude um outro part with the piano like the everyone's a building burning that whole part and so it's the same exact chords and sequence and everything but instead of playing it like this You play it like this. And that's the entire song. So, oh, and one thing I forgot to mention is when you transition from this uh, five and four of your D and G string, you play just, you lift off and it's really quick like passing chord. It's not a chord, but passing chord, I'm gonna call it. So that's just open D and G while you go to 
um, fifth and fourth fret of the A and D. And you can do it there again too. So like this. Yep, and it just sounds cool to do that. And But you don't have to do that. Play it however you want. But yeah, have fun with it. It's a good song. It's pretty... Um, well, I don't know. I would say it's an easy beginner song. It kind of is, just because it's that one riff repeated. But this little stretch here with your pinky on the 7th fret there is kind of tough. But yeah, mess with it and have fun. And I hope you guys are doing well. And I'll catch you on the next one.